Okay, we're calling the meeting of the North Highlands Recreation Park District for June to order approval of the minutes. So, um, does anyone have any uh, questions for the staff? Uh, questions? Anything? Motion? I'm going to be out for the minutes of Major. Do I have a second? I'll second. <laughs> okay, is there any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, chairpersons reports. Is there any abstentions there, maybe? Yeah. Uh, oh, well, I'm sorry. I'm yeah. I already have abstained. <laughs> Uh, the other thing I want to mention just briefly is about the, the revenue. 
Uh, a couple days ago, we were uh, $8,000 short. So this is how quickly we, we made it up. Uh, just based on our calculations on previous years, the difference between the last several weeks and the period 13, I think we're going to probably exceed the revenues by probably fifteen, twenty thousand dollars, uh, give or take. But that number could be thirty thousand dollars higher had we been able to collect what was due to us. And it doesn't mean we won't collect it. We're just not going to collect it in this fiscal year. That's all. Okay. Did any of the other board members have any comments? Okay. Um, reports from standing committee. So budget, uh, finance, and audit. You're on the agenda for uh, later this evening. Okay. Administrator's reports. Larry, did you want to uh, mention or highlight anything? Sure. I, I just uh, mentioned that uh, 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 Scott is not here this evening. He's on vacation. So if there's anything in the maintenance report you would like for me to address, just ask me. And uh, the fin finance report kind of stands on its own. Uh, I did want to mention that, uh, speaking of uh, uh, LAFCO, uh, we've been notified by LAFCO that there's been a slight monetary change in what they charge us, and so it's not significant, but uh, uh, our cost to LAFCO is going to be about 250 to $400. Yeah. That's or, or? No, it's that's total. total. That's total. Okay. So there's a slight adjustment. Uh, they just gave us a range right now because they didn't have the exact number. But it's not to exceed 400 bucks. Well, it could be because this new requirement they have to do to have someone track all this stuff. Uh, so, yeah, that's, that's uh, I believe, all I have. All right. So, anyone have any questions of Larry? Okay. Mark. So, just uh, one thing I'd like to add. So, just an update with our swim team. Uh, we're now 2 0. Uh, so we won our first two swim meets. Keep in mind, we won one swim meet previous five years, so we've already doubled it. Uh, but we do have, we have another week this weekend, and we do expect two wins. We have the numbers, which is a big, anywhere about uh, you know, some meets and how they actually function, how they score themselves. But to talk to our coaches, we do expect to probably go four and one this season based off of the skill level we have for the team. So big year for the team. It probably also helps that we have 111 scores on the team, the most we've had. Uh, <coughs> so so what's the one? Why the one? So they're traveling to Sacktown, who has about 130 swimmers. And typically when you're a home team, you have more swimmers that attend it, as opposed to like the road team doesn't always have everybody show up for it. So we're in a little bit of a numbers game. So, yeah. Yeah. And, and the, one of the reasons why we haven't done well in the past few years is because we haven't had kids in every age group. And the thing is, if you swim again, so let's say you don't have enough for 15, 16 boys or whatever, maybe 15, 18 boys, I think it is. So there's nobody in the uh, relay. They may have two, three teams, and they're getting max points completely, and it just completely screws it. And that's why when Mark always talks about the numbers of the team, it's a huge thing, right? you know, to make sure you have, you know, kids in every age group and <coughs> relays in every age group. But big credits really go to our, to our coaching staff. I mean, having Travis Bell as the head coach has been, been a huge impact in the program. Uh, I can only see it growing. We had more returning swimmers this year than we've had in previous years. Uh, so far, that has to be credited to at least the coaching staff and Travis himself. Nothing to do with you? No, very little. Very little. Sarah, I, I'm seeing some wonderful pictures on Facebook and Instagram. Yes. For, regarding our, um, Summer programs and it looks like the kids are having a blast. So you wanna Yeah, the kids are the kids are having a blast. Uh, we kind of break today because it was the pool on a really hot day. So instead of being here and going over to the park, uh, we were at the aquatic center for a field trip. No, it's been great. Uh, we have a new site director uh, or, or site supervisor for the program, um, Derek, and he has been phenomenal. Uh, he's brought such great leadership to the program. Uh, he has the entire, he got the entire summer uh, scheduled in three weeks. He has it all planned out every hour on the hour. So he's been working ahead of time. He's been great. Uh, he's also been going to transition to our Raccoon Club program and be our site supervisor there. So it was off to a great start for the kids to go So the numbers are pretty comparable to the last year? No, they are not. 
Uh, we are. Last year was kind of an outlier. Uh, this this year we're still comfortable. We're still within what we've seen over years past. Okay. So we still have like 25 kids a week. Okay. Like last year, I know we were in the 40s. Uh, the Twin Rivers this year is offering more free programs. Oh, okay. Uh, in the local area, so we're back to where we have been in previous summers, which is still we still consider it a success. So. All right. Thank you. So anyone have any questions for Mark? Oh, Terry? No. All right. Um, correspondence and packet. Uh, there's a letter from Black that we talked about earlier, and um, the appointments of the independent special district representatives. So, um, so let's move on to comments and reports from citizens and organizations. We're missing you. I'm, I'm thinking it's the summer. Okay, uh, number nine, I think business A, Freedom Park softball complex update. So, um, where are you having? Sure, just <coughs> like, as I mentioned before previously, every month, Res, we're going to give you an update as to where things are, what, what's going on. Um, the complex, uh, the tenant has, is officially gone. Uh, we've taken back ownership of the facility. Uh, if, the junk and all the things that you probably have seen or heard about there are gone. Uh, we've had staff as well as uh, a electrical contractor out on the site going through the entire electrical system to make sure it's up to code and operating properly. Uh, I think I mentioned to you once before that one of the concerns we had was when we first went out there, we noticed a lot of white PVC pipe being channeled along the side and over the top of the uh, backstops found out they were putting electrical wire inside a uh, 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 water PVC pipe. And routing it that way rather than the traditional way of going underground. Well, the reason they didn't go underground is because it was too costly. But that's not the way to, to do it, the way they did it. So all that has been removed, and what we're doing, there's approximately 36 uh, uh, different uh, irrigation valves out there. We have convert, we, I think we finished up now, but we've been converting them all over to battery operated timers. So, the, so because the cost of going to ground to do all that would have been in the multiple thousands of dollars. We get the same benefit because we use batteries, so a couple times a year we'll replace the batteries, but everything will be on an automatic timer system so we can water at nighttime. The old, the old system, which actually wasn't working, uh, we found out from one of the employees there, they still had a open and close 36 valves every time they watered the complex. That's not, that's not a good way of doing it. So this way, we don't have to have anybody out there. We can set everything on timers like we do our, our, our parks. We can water, you know, late evening or early in the morning for the public's out there. Uh, it's going to be more cost effective to do this as in the end we're going to have a better product. Uh, so the staff is finishing up with that. As I said, they've been going through all the electrical. Uh, Sean uh, Kearns, who works for us, uh, is a plumbing uh, a licensed plumber. So he's gone through all of the plumbing and checked everything out. Uh, so that's wrapping up. And now we're also looking at things like dry rot and make sure things are functional. Uh, but uh, so far, I think we're making good progress. Next week, uh, uh, next week or the week after, I can't remember, staff is going to give me a list of, uh, of uh, projects, deferred maintenance projects at the site, prioritizing them and putting a cost estimate on it. So that way we have an idea, and a timeline, so we have an idea of what has to be done, what's going to cost, and what's going to be finished. And so I'm hoping, I anticipate coming back to the board in the July meeting and have sharing that report with you as, as well as a recommendation of going forward of how to find a new tenant. So when you do this, um, are they going to both identify the projects that we need to do, like on the field, the exterior, and the snack bar, or are we, are we not we're really at, focusing on the interior, the snack bar? We are looking at everything from okay. fencing material uh -huh. to uh, uh, the building, to backstops, to all the lights. We notice a lot of the uh, lights are, uh, are bulbs are dead. Uh, I've told staff that the right way to do it is we, if you want to do it right. We don't know when the last ones were replaced, we'll replace them all at one time. And the way to do it, instead of waiting for a light to go out, if a light has, say, a uh, life expectancy of 1,000 hours, you put them on a schedule to replace them at about 850, 900 hours. 
So that way you only have to rent the lift one time to come out there, you do them all, rather than, oh, we got three lights over here, gotta get the rent the lift to get out there and, and do that. Uh, that's a little bit of expense, but at the same time, uh, once it's put in, it's, those lights will be good for a number of years. Uh, but we're going through everything, Diane. We're looking at everything from, you know, uh, raised concrete to the fencing to the gates to making sure that you know everything is is uh, functioning properly and and meets code so comprehensive review of the whole entire you know mm -hmm. restroom mm -hmm. kitchen that upstairs area whatever that is because we never seen it because well, it was locked up we did find out one interesting thing is we noticed when we went up there and i think mark was with us too we noticed there were some big holes in a lot of the walls and in the ceiling. Apparently, uh, the former tenant had gone up there and put his own uh, air conditioning system in. And when he left, he took all the duct work with him. He pulled everything out and took it with him. Technically, it wasn't there when he went there, so he could have. I haven't known what he had. I probably would have tried to talk him in just leaving it there. But who knows, it probably wasn't up to code anyhow. I'm sure it wasn't. Uh, but all those holes have been patched. Okay. Now. But I think the most important thing we're looking at is the integrity of the building. Are the floors safe? There's a dry rot. You know, is there any leaks or anything? Those kind of things we have to address. But again, next month we'll be coming back to the board with a report as well as a recommendation for going forward. So, question on that. So, these cost estimates, I mean, once we get them, are we going to start processing it so we can get or how, how with, with our past tenant it's not there anymore so we can it doesn't get into us so too far well at the recommendation of our attorney we are tracking all our costs including uh, our man hours out of the scale now do keep in mind not all those can be charged to the tenant uh, some of those are you know they're not tenant related they're for instance, the battery-operated uh, uh, air <coughs> valves. Yeah. That's, that's, that's an added benefit. We could have just left them alone. Well, he right. wouldn't be charged for that. But he would be charged for our time to remove all that stuff, that, that Jerry would yeah. stuff they had put up there. So we're, you know, we're keeping a running list, and Terry's keeping a running list, and I have uh, Scott and Sean updating her as, the, as they uh, uh, spend money and, and, and time. The, we'll come to a point, and I don't know whether we'll come to a point where we have all the fees, but at some point the attorney said, well, we have enough to move forward, then we will go after him through court to recoup our costs, with the understanding is that there's part of these costs that are still ongoing, and that finally when we get to the court, we'll have to say yeah, this we is the amount. amount okay. but, we, but, you know, we may find out things down the road that we don't see initially. Right. But I think the idea is that Let's, let's get this facility operating, make it safe, make sure that it functions properly, and then let's get ourselves a tenant, and then we'll come back and start addressing, retraining, and recoup our costs. Sounds good. And back around. Zach, Alan, do you have any questions? I'm good. Questions? Uh, All right. Thank you, Larry. Okay. Um, I attend new business A resolution uh, 560, authorizing the levy of the special taxes with the community facilities district number uh, district number 2016-01 Alberta Park for fiscal year 1819. So Larry, did you want to uh, do you need to add anything? Just uh, just a comment is this is this goes remember last year you had a similar resolution in front of you advising the county that we would not uh, request them to be <coughs> collecting the tax. This year we are asking them to begin collecting the tax effective July 4th. And as I think I mentioned to you, and it might be mentioned that elsewhere in the, in the, uh, in the budget, uh, we'll begin collecting uh, taxes in July, and we expect to start uh, uh, exercising expenditures in the last quarter of the fiscal year. But this is a requirement that we have to do so the county triggers the county to begin collecting the tax. Okay, so I'll make a motion to pass resolution number 560. A resolution of the Board of Directors of North Carolina Corporation Park District authorizing the levy of special district taxes with, in the Community <coughs> Facilities District number 2016-01, Alberta Park, fiscal year 2018-19. I'll second that. Okay, is there any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes. And just you know, this is one that requires Diane and Zach's signature before you leave tonight. Okay, thank you. Sorry, Zach. Okay, we are going to move.
Oh, no, Camino will do the same thing, but it's not their number one priority. They, they said they will do it if they have staff available to do it, and they like to have a commitment from us 30 days in advance. Our own policy says we don't uh, book less than 30 days, but the reality of it is we do, simply because we're not going to pass on opportunity to fill a vacant building and get a revenue coming from that, that, that effort. So we will, if the board agrees to go the route with Fulton El Camino, we will continue to use Palina through the end of June. And in the meantime, staff will interview uh, several other security services to focus solely on providing security for our events, not for park patrol. So have I confused it at all? Okay. So the, the main difference is, is of going to a, a, police secure, a police force versus a private security. The net cost I'm estimating to the district will be five or $6,000 a year. I don't see that as a significant amount when you look at the fact that our carryover funds on an annual basis range up to a couple hundred thousand dollars a year. That's money that we budgeted but we didn't spend or revenue, the surplus revenues that we didn't anticipate that came in. So it, it's not the cost that's going to make or break us, but in the end, I think we're going to get much better service. And if we do, we might consider the following year expanding those hours to create a even greater coverage. So that's it in a nutshell. I'll make a motion to enter a contract for one year, as terms you stated. I should have a question. What happens the other nights? What's that? Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday? Uh, they don't provide services on those nights yet, <coughs> but they said as they started getting de a demand for it, they will, but they said based on 20 years of providing police services, they said that the, the, the most, the, the dates where parks have the most problems are those, uh, you know, working up to weekends and the weekends themselves. Okay. Uh, we would still use the Sacramento Sheriff's Department uh, as we would use when we have a serious incident. Uh, so. Uh, yeah, it, 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 that is a, a you know a little concern, but the reality of it is uh, we didn't have pallet and patrolling twelve park parks at any time. Yeah, that's right. So four days a week is is a benefit compared to no days a week. Yeah. Okay. I'll second that motion. Was there any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes. Thank you. 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 One, the approval of the 18-19 fiscal year, fiscal year preliminary budget. So, Alan, did you want to do the presentation? Yeah, I, first of all, I do want to thank staff for getting our board packets out early last month, last month, last week, so that it gives everybody a chance to go through this in more detail. Pat and I obviously already saw it, but um, since hopefully you had a chance to look at it, I don't know if anybody had any <coughs> Again, this is preliminary, final will come in a few months. So, I mean, Larry pretty much outlined everything here. Um, salary adjustment, he talks about the contract that we just entered into. Uh, so, I don't know if you want to add anything, Larry. Like I said, it's, it's very well summarized just on the couple first two pages. And obviously the detail is behind. And what, one thing I will highlight, is it to the back? Um, again, I don't know who printed it out in color, but if you go to like the sports, adult sports and stuff, um, if if we're making money on a program, it comes in green. If we're losing money, it shows in red. So it, it's easy to kind of see what programs, you know, they're budgeting that we will like pretty much break even. Some will make more money, and we, as we know, some, you know, we, it's pretty much like us. We know it's something, you know, like the Easter, what do we call that, spring break? No, spring break. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, that kind of stuff. So, and I do appreciate that. That was easy to kind of, you know, go through. Good. So, again, Larry, I don't know if you want to add anything or? No, I think that, uh, uh, I do want to say something that, that I like to add that, uh, you know, that, you know, appreciation to the staff uh, for Mark and, and Scott and particularly Terry because they put a lot of time into this. Sometimes it doesn't look like it by the time you get it, but kind of the, the, the things I put them through in the beginning, I, I make them justify the budget, I make them make justify the, what their uh, requests are. We go through new programs, we look at old programs to find out if they're financially worth keeping or otherwise worth keeping. 
and uh, we've got into a nice habit now of uh, as we go through each draft to dig those drafts so we can start tossing things up so <coughs> endless folders of just different drafts after different drafts but and particularly I, I mean this goes to all people but Terry's the one tasked with having to put this together and, and you know she does a pretty darn good job with that and so it makes our delight and, and job a lot easier so I just want to say thank you for what they've done but otherwise uh, I think it's pretty uh, straightforward. Does anyone have any questions of Alan and staff regarding no. budget? I have a motion. I'll make a motion to approve resolution number 561, the North Highlands Recreation Park District budget for 2018-19 in the amount of two million forty-seven thousand one hundred sixteen dollars. Second. Okay. Do we have further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes. Okay, item 10C, resolution 562, approval of the 2018-19 fiscal year North Highlands Recreation Park District Community Facility District number 2016-01 Alberta Park Preliminary Budget. So did you also meet on that? Yes, this we one? Met Okay, it. so does anyone yeah. want to um, yeah, provide a summary on that? So, and actually we, we kind of got a, a pre- I don't say pre meeting, but we, we also met. Tell us what was going to happen, and we uh, actually met <coughs> um, when this was finalized. When we meet was that last last week? Yeah. I think beginning of last week, right? Yeah, it was last week. And so staff went through for us, and you know explained it. If you go to what's known as page three, it kind of pretty much tells what they're anticipating is going to happen for the first year. Again, we're not going to have. You know, be responsible for the park the first year. You know, maybe what do we figure? Maybe three to four months. Uh, yeah, I, I talked again today to uh, 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 representatives from Phil Rucker Homes, and they're still holding to their numbers and projections. That it looks like that uh, the district could take the park over sometime in the fourth quarter of next year. Right. Now, the way the budget is developed, if it has to come on sooner, we have the financial resources to address that. Yeah, so I mean, the way that we did this, like Larry just said, we have the financial resources. So, but it's more that at the end of next fiscal year, we'll probably have a nice little fund balance going forward for equipment replacement and stuff, because we're gonna have to start planning for that in the future, you know, what, 10, 15 years, playground equipment? Yeah, the, 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 there's a schedule on replacing yeah. the okay. depreciation schedule. If somebody wants a bathroom out there, who knows? Well, if they did, we'd have the resources to have to close the bank for it. <laughs> so going forward, because this is the first year we've had um, this community facility district, we're going to be approving two separate budgets. Yeah, your facility, uh, did, your facilities, community, the community facilities district is already in place. Right, but we're going to start so what, yeah, did, so we'll, passing start. two separate budgets yeah. going forward. I guess that then I, my understanding is that they will be uh, uh, collecting the, the fees, uh, not on a monthly basis, but I think it's... It's not, it's not going to be on the tax bill. On the tax bill. So, so it'll be, it'll it'll be, be December be and uh, April, April 10th. But, but again, <coughs> for those people that move in, let's say, in December, that don't get the tax, you know, so that would be a supplemental. Yeah. So, yeah. So right now, uh, 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 it was required we had to know exactly as of May 31st how many permits had been issued by the county, not how many uh, homes are under construction or been completed, but how many permits. Oh, that's been cool. And uh, uh, it was 116. And so uh, that will be the basis going forward of what we'll be generating revenue. Okay. So and then next year, you know, maybe the park, maybe the development has been uh, completed and then we'll be up to the 225. The trigger is what, 113? I mean, 113 triggers them to have to begin the process of the park. I got a call from uh, the landscape architect today. Uh, they're anticipating that the uh, final park plans, which are the construction plans, uh, will be approved by the county within the next week. Once they get those, uh, in fact, there's actually been a little bit of work out there already by the developer. Uh, the first thing they need to do is get that retention pond in place. Right, so they're doing all that grading work. Doing that. some grading right now. Uh, and then once they uh, begin, well, they have, I think they have uh, 
60 days to do all the great work, and then uh, they actually have six months to complete the park. They don't anticipate it will take that long, but we have to plan it as if they do, because contractually, that's what they have. I don't want to say, well, they said they could do it in three, and then three months, or say, where's the park? Because contractually, they have six months. So when you do look at that, you look at the 120-day the, uh, maintenance period that they have to provide the maintenance before we take over the park. You know, it, it, it's looking sometime, you know, the May, April, May time period. But if this comes sooner, you know, we'll be prepared for it. All right, any more questions? Okay, we've got a motion. Um, okay, I'll try this one. I made a motion that we approve resolution 562, the approval of the 2018-29 fiscal year for the Highlands Recreation Park District Community Facility District 2016-01 Alberta Park Budget. I'll second that motion. Okay, is there any further discussion? No, I just want to clarify one thing because okay. board members might be going, well, wait a minute, why is it being called Alberta Park? The reason it's being called Alberta Park is because when we originally set up Community Facilities District, that's what we called it. So that's what it's called in perpetuity at this point. So don't think. On paper. paper. On paper, right. Yes. The, the name of the Community Facilities District, not the name of the park. So because this is the community facilities district budget, theoretically not the park budget because the park also has the greenways and all that other stuff. Just to clarify. All right, okay. I'm good. Okay, we've got a motion to second. And any other further, any other discussion? All those in favor? All right. the motion passes. Okay, um, 10E, um, audit engagement letter for fiscal year ending, um, June 30th, 2018. So did the committee meet on that, or is this a little bit um, we, we talked about it briefly. Uh, we knew this was coming, and actually, kind of a funny story. When they had their entrance conference, um, I told staff and let them know that I was going to swing by and just talk to the auditors. But they got done real fast, and the auditors didn't wait for me. So apparently, as I drove in, they drove out. Literally, as he drove in, they drove out. Yeah. <coughs> so, um, we, try, we try to hold, we offer them coffee, we offer them water, I know. Them, you know, everything we had to say, but they had another uh, uh, place to go. So, I mean, uh, if, I mean, I went through their engagement letter, this is very standard language of what they're adding. These things seem to get longer every single year, yeah. but it, it, again, it's pretty standardized. Um, you know, just doing what I was doing, I would recommend that I mean, we're good to go. Please know that we've also, our, uh, I'll make a motion to uh, approve the engagement letter for uh, fiscal year ending June 30th, 2018. I'll second. Okay, do we have any questions or further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passes. Okay, item 10F, agreement to develop templates for um, tracking capital assets. So did the committee meet on that or is that? Uh, we were we actually were informed about it, um, and after we were informed about it, I went home and kind of thought this through. Um, I guess my question is, can we contact another park district and just see what they've got and use theirs instead of paying a couple thousand dollars for this? Because I mean, in essence, what they're going to do is create a spreadsheet for us. Which I mean, I'm I'm not saying they're not worth this money. I'm not saying that. Um, <laughs> but I mean, I could probably do this spreadsheet in about four hours. Um, and I'm just saying, you know, we may be able to contact another park district. They may have something set up already, and we could just, you know, offer them a dozen donuts if we can get a copy of it or something. I mean, I don't know. That I, that was just something I started thinking about. Well, you know more about this than I do, but I will say when we talked to them, it sounded a little bit more, uh, uh, a lot more detail to it than that. And one of the things that just to remind the, the board, I must want you to remember, uh, our previous auditor was doing a lot of this for us, uh, but it wasn't in our agreement with the, uh, our current auditors for them to do that work, but they uh, generously did it for us last year, which legally they didn't have to do. And, 
in, in, so I'll add, technically, Larry Bain should not have done that because that's doing some of the accounting work and they're supposed to be reviewing or auditing that work. Yeah, the answer sure. thing was, it, it, it's too bad Larry didn't tell us this yeah. because had we known, then we could have done <coughs> it differently, but he was doing that as part of the, the, the full yeah, package of the services. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I would say at this point, I would, I would recommend that the board approve this that way it's in the budget. And then if we let us give a chance to go talk to some other districts. That's fine. To talk I, to I don't have a problem with that. But before we sign this, can, can you come back next month and give us an update? And, you know, I don't have a problem. We'll go ahead and approve, you know. You can approve it and then we <coughs> Yeah, move forward. Right, exactly. So I'll go ahead and make a motion to approve the 2000 to 3000 cost for uh, CLA to come up with templates to help with tracking of capital assets. I'll second that. Okay, I got a um, motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes. Okay, payment of the bills. Full discussion. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, before you go further, I did have one thing I did want to bring up to the board, and I only caught it today when uh, Terry and I were looking at posting the notices uh, going forward for the preliminary budget and the final. The, the final budget only, well, I should say, preliminary budget only because it, it noted the August 9th meeting date. Uh, as you may remember from last year, there was a, 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 a some dialogue that took place between the board and ourselves and the county about what was the official date. Yeah. You know, at one point we thought it, there was some language put out that it wasn't due to the county until mid-September. Then there was some language we got from the count from the county telling us letters from the county telling us you've got to turn it in by this date. The problem with the date they gave us, if I remember correctly, was two days before our regular board meeting. So there's no way we could meet that. So uh, we went back and forth with them, and I'm, I'm going to look it up tomorrow. But I think Terry and I seem to remember that the due date is the end of August. So the problem we had last year was. Uh, even though sometimes the changes are minor, we don't get the final budget from the from the county till around that's just before our regular August board meeting date, and it caused a lot of havoc last year, waiting and then getting ready to throw all our efforts and to get that thing done. So we had talked last year about either holding the, the August regular August uh, meeting date and then holding a special board meeting date a week or 10 days after, that, give, that gives us sufficient time to get the information from the county, put it together, get it out to the board. Uh, or uh, trying to, again, jam it in and hope get our fingers crossed that it gets here before uh, our regular August meeting date. So I think last year we got it literally the day before we had to get it out in the email to our board right. back. And, and I would rather personally do a special board meeting so staff is not rushed to get it and we don't miss something and make errors. Now, I would also recommend, because again, we had this conversation last year, is to go back, and I was going to, and I never did, go back to the California government code and see when, by law, when it's actually due. Yeah, actually, we, we did that. Okay. And that, that's what that's the, what we use, because we actually have our attorney go and, and look okay. at it for us. That's why we get all these dates that we're floating right. around. Right. Uh, it, it worked out in because we stayed with the, the regular meeting date, but it just was so tight. So if I'm hearing you correctly, is <coughs> we will not hold an August uh, 9th meeting date. I will send a recommendation out to the board with several dates for you to look at. Okay. Uh, but I'm probably going to be looking at least one week to 10 days further out than where we are right now. Um, and if that works for you, then we'll put it on the uh, July meeting agenda so you can take action on right. it to do it. And the reason I bring this up now is there is that mention of the August 9th meeting date that had to be part of the, uh, what we posted. So it's this, we're going to kind of, we don't have to really get that out until uh, in July anyhow. But when I saw that, I go, hmm, I don't know if we want to do this or not. So early next week, we'll give you a couple dates. We'll, send, we'll email them out to you. If we get three board members to say this date works good, and if, if you know if you want to stay with the regular Thursday, we'll try to look at the next Thursday or the following Thursday, and then we'll hold that as our regular. It'll be, a, it'll be our special board special meeting. meeting. But we'll just cancel the regular. Cancel the regular meeting on the night, and that way, Terry, when she gets ready to put the information out, it has to be posted right. and noticed. It'll reflect that special meeting date. Okay. 
we may not want to cancel it until maybe a few days before, sure. just in case something comes up where we actually have to do need the regular board meeting. Because you can cancel it, what, 72 hours in advance, I think it is? Okay. So, so but, but for, the, the, for, for Terry's purposes and our purposes, uh, we once we have a, a special, special date, yeah. we'll put it in the, the notices so we can get those out. Correct. Terry just likes to get that stuff because some of it you have to send to the newspaper, some of it has right. to be posted. So we want to make sure all that stuff is, is ready to go well in advance. And how many places do you post it, Terry? Well, the legal notice uh, in the newspaper and the public notice are here. Uh, that would be three places. I didn't know that. Uh, whatever it is, we have them all. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah because. I, I got this at uh, CSDA a couple years ago because our signing board and posting it outside, that's considered one place. I think if we post it like at the, I don't know, that's outside of where? Park the library. The library. The library. Oh. Outside, of the library. Oh. Outside, of, outside of the boundaries now. The library's out of the We can do it possibly at the post office. What do you mean now? What do you mean now? You, we have to post the notice of our passive, uh, passing of the budget, the date. And we have to post it three, I believe it's three places, and have to be, and, you know, I was thinking, okay, if we post that outside here, there's one, we have a sign board, there's two, no, that counts as one, this is one location. But maybe, on the county building across the street? When did the library become out of our district? That's now, it hasn't been in our district since they opened the new library. So it's been seven years. Now it's across the street from our district. Yeah, we're using it. That's not our district. Well, we'll do this, Alan. Let, let us go ahead and check and find out. And verify that. <coughs> if, there's, if there's a third one, I'm sure it'll give us a list of, of what uh, is the location. Like I'm saying, we have a county office building across the street, I believe, right? Yeah. Yes. That's, that's a public building. Okay. Right there. So yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll check that and make sure whatever and whatever is required, we'll make sure we do it. Okay. All right. So everyone, everyone get on that issue. Yeah, and I'll, and I'll, and I'll put that on the July agenda okay. for you to take action on. So I, since are you going to pay the bill? Yes, we're going to. Okay, so before we get to that, I do have one thing that I wanted to bring up before and I forgot. Uh, so, CSDA, which is September? September? Yes. Yeah. Um, so, I kind of not inadvertently, but I have two rooms booked because the hotel that is hosting it is sold out. And I just need to know if anybody is interested in going because I do have an extra room someone can use. So, but the hotel has already called me and said, you have, uh, uh, the 20, like 3rd through the 27th of September, I think. Hold on, I can look for it. It's the week. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I don't know, I don't think that would work for your And the hotels, again, the hotels already called me. Uh, it's the 24th through the 27th. Okay. Yeah, that's fantastic. Uh, Tell me to put it online and, and to other members to see if you can make the money. <laughs> yeah, I'll just, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll hold it one more month just in case somebody thinks about it and changes their mind. Because I think Terry said she wanted to go last year, so. <laughs> I mean, this is the, the, the CSDA one is geared more towards board members while the part was there one. CRS? No, well, CRS, and there's the one that you went to. CRP. CRP. Okay, yeah, so you've got that's geared, from what I've seen, more towards staff and, you know, program type things. Oh, well, I would say the one that you and Diana and I went to last year, I, I got a lot better. No, yeah, but it's, it's administrators and staff, not really, don't take it personally, but I mean, like, Mark wouldn't get, he'd get some stuff out of it, but not as much as you did. Well, I mean, seriously, it's not, there's not recreation stuff. Right. It's, yeah. It's right. the operation of special districts. Sure. So, um, again, so if anybody wants to think about that, and I'll next month ask that just to verify before I cancel the second room. All right. Thank you for the offer. Sure. All right. So, payment of the bills. So, in front of you is your, in your packets, the June 2018 billing report. So, are there any questions of staff regarding that? I don't have anything. Terry did perfect. I just like sleeping in there. <laughs> and, 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 and you make sure that that our stipends are taken care of appropriately too. So I think the only question I had was uh, 
Dick's charges for legal, is that pretty much Dennis stuff? Okay. Is that something we'd be able to recover too? Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All legal oh, charges. Right. So, <laughs> <all right. laughs> well, I figured. Like, that's, <laughs> the that's why I, I, I'm not really, well, I can't say I have hesitated, but I've had less hesitation. And got, because they've been very, very helpful with this process of making sure we, that we do it right. Because in the end, when we go to court, if we have to go to court, uh, you know, the lead up getting to there, we want to make sure that we cross all of our keys and dot our eyes because he's not back there. Okay, I'll make a motion to ratify payment of the bills. Second on motion. Okay, we got a motion to a second. Um, is there any further discussion? All those in favor? Um, Aye. Okay. Motion passes. Okay. The next meeting of the Board of Directors for the North Highlands Recreation Park District will be July 12, 2018 at 6.30 p.m. <coughs> the North Highlands Recreation Center, 6040 Watt Avenue, North Highlands. This meeting